Meg Records, the Meg Record Keeping Institute, Entity Number 81, Elevators, Image Caption, one of the first known images ever taken of an elevator. It was presumably taken in Level 1. Habitats, Majority, Elevators can appear virtually anywhere in the back rooms, including quote-unquote outdoor levels. Footnote, when an elevator enters one of these levels, they will emerge from the floor, if the level has one, leaving it completely unscathed. Upon an elevator departing from said level, it will float into the sky or descend back into the ground and spontaneously disappear. End footnote. However, they do have a few exceptions. Elevators cannot travel to and from levels that are impossible to escape, such as the grave and the void. Certain levels, such as the broken, cannot be accessed by elevators, as they will invariably cause their destruction upon entry. Image Caption A photograph taken inside an elevator in level 138. Description Entity 81 is classified as a type of entity physically identical to an average elevator found in the front rooms, but instead of being limited to floors in a building, they can transport wanderers, other entities, and even objects throughout different levels of the back rooms. Hence, they are considered one of the most popular and efficient methods of traveling through the back rooms. Upon entering an instance of Entity 81, the Wanderer will find a set of 4 to 20 buttons, all labeled with a number. These buttons correspond to their respective levels. Footnote. The most plausible theory for this occurrence is that the Keymaster, or another similar entity, is capable of operating elevators. End footnote. And, upon pressing them, the elevator will immediately begin rising or descending into the secluded level. In the case of enigmatic levels, the buttons corresponding to them will be labeled with two to three letters each. These letters are merely abbreviations for the names of enigmatic levels. To find a comprehensive list of abbreviations, please contact a Meg Archivist. Behaviors All elevators are completely safe. See Addendum. Many instances of Entity 81 are perfectly fluent in all aspects of every language, used in both the front rooms and the back rooms, including dead languages. As such, they can communicate with wanderers both vocally and via a small TV-like screen positioned haphazardly inside the elevator. What they choose to talk about heavily depends on the wanderer's mood and or interests. Due to these behaviors, many believe that all elevators are sentient. Biology Image Caption A pair of deluxe elevators in level 122. Elevators tend to vary in design depending on the level they are in. For example, an elevator in level 5 will often be incredibly beautiful and neat, while the same elevator entering the blackout will appear very dirty and overrun with dirt, mold, and other unwanted substances. Discovery The original discovery of Entity 81 is still yet to be determined, as it has been confirmed that the Entity was discovered long before the founding of the Meg, or any major group of interest for that matter. However, Wanderers have used instances of Entity 81 to discover other levels, such as Level 224. Additional Notes Entity 81 has some of the highest amounts of confirmed sightings in the back rooms, behind hounds and death moths. Elevator doors can sometimes be disguised as a large window or mirror. Note, see Object 6. However, they are easily distinguishable from the two simply because the call button is always where an elevator is destined to appear. Both the hub and the blue channel are widely accepted to be hubs for the entities to go from and come back to. Addendum Witness Account Hey, uh, I'm pretty sure that these witness accounts don't need to be all that formal, I think. Whatever, I'll just keep writing in this personal tone. I'm Mason Martinez. Footnote This is not this person's real name. As said later in this account, they do not want their real name disclosed. End footnote. And, although I'm not associated with any major group, I do have a giant group of friends. 
we mainly just like to run around the back rooms looking for food, water, and whatnot. And of course, we would almost always use the elevators to travel through levels because, as their article states, they are extremely useful. Yeah, that is, until a bit recently. Three of us, including myself, have encountered several instances of these things being straight up deadly. Well, actually, I think deadly is a bit too much of an exaggeration. One of my friends and I were somewhat fine, while the other one has been in a hospital for about a week now. So, here's what happened. I was in level 522, buying some items I needed. I finished my business and began searching for an exit as usual. During my search, I found this one elevator with a sign saying, out of order. Here's an image of it for reference. Me, being the elevator junkie I am, decided to ignore it and pry the door open. When I did, however, it unleashed this huge infestation of centipedes, millipedes, fire ants, combines, and more crazy bugs I couldn't identify. I did manage to run away fast, but not before one of the fire ants bit me real damn hard. I had to waste what was left of my first aid kit, but now I'm fine. Furthermore, the owners of the level taped the elevator off and put up a bunch of signs advising against its usage, so I guess that's good. Next, my first friend, I'm gonna call him Ben due to privacy reasons, went to the whiteout, nearly got snow blindness, and had to rush to an exit. After about half an hour of constant searching, he found a camouflaged elevator door placed on the floor. For some reason, he got in, and the entire thing was upside down. Poor guy. Anyway, after pressing on the button 162, Ben stated that the elevator music felt very off. Every instrument used in it sounded like they were being played by a five-year-old. While that was happening, he also heard a loud thud. Then the entire elevator started falling at light speed. Luckily, Ben has watched a few YouTube videos about these kinds of situations at Earth, so he was good. Well, until the door opened and he found himself in level 8. He hasn't escaped the level yet, but he's still in contact with me, so that's nice. Lastly, for the person that's in the hospital right now, it's one of my older friends. I'll codename her Jennifer, who's deaf. Yeah, I have no idea how she's alive right now. It's good that she is, though. So what happened with her is that she had just entered level 76, and was hiding for a while until she got the courage to move around a bit. After moving more, she hid yet again. Kinda feel bad for her that she has to do this kind of stuff to survive. So, yeah, after a ton of repeating that, she accidentally pressed the call button for an elevator and, as such, decided to enter it. To her surprise, however, she discovered that the insides of the thing were completely invisible. And before she could exit it, she fell in this big hole in the ground and got injured really badly. But, in a giant stroke of luck, she landed in level 11 and got hospitalized. She's still in a coma, but the doctors have assured her that she should be returning in about a month. TLDR, elevators aren't utterly overpowered. Sometimes they malfunction and do weird shit. I've attached some proof of all these claims, but can you please keep them private? Neither me nor my friends want randoms knowing our names and all that stuff. Most people I meet are really creepy. Take care. Mason. Announcement on the Meg Public Discord server. Announcements channel. Important announcements from staff. Trevor Mendoza, March 1st, 2023, 10.02 a.m. Hello at Secondary Ping. So many of you probably know about the whole elevator overpowered joke that's been floating around for a while, right? Well, I hate to break it to everyone, but they aren't actually all candies and rainbows. Recently, someone gave a witness account of them and their friends encountering certain elevators that are wacky, to say the least. But why are we announcing this if it's only happened to three people? Here's the thing, they are not the only ones. More and more people are contacting us about very similar phenomena. At this rate, we cannot even go a few hours without someone calling or messaging our archivists about the matter. We strongly advise that you take caution while using elevators. If you see an out-of-order sign near one, do not try to open it. Look at the elevator before going into it. If even the smallest thing feels off, leave it immediately. We hope that anyone injured by this new occurrence is okay. If you need help involving this situation, do not hesitate to contact us. Thanks. Trevor Mendoza.